Hello viewers, this is Ethan Immortal and welcome to episode 2 of Career and Contracts in Kerbal Space Program. In this episode, I'm going to build a rocket to travel outside of Kerbin space to gather science from around the sun. This will give me a few hundred points of science at this early stage in the game and allow me to unlock more parts that will be suitable for future missions such as landing on the moon. I decided to spend the science points I had on the science tech tree. This gives me three main parts. The science junior experiments bay for gathering extra science points. Some battery packs which give more electric capacity for longer trips. And a large communications array which can be used to transmit science data back from a long distance. To be in orbit of the sun, all I need to do is escape Kerbin's sphere of influence, just enough to be considered in orbit of the sun. I'll do a few experiments, a crew report, then turn the ship around and put it back into Kerbin's sphere of influence. To help get the speed needed, I will use a gravity assist manoeuvre. By burning the engines to extend the orbit up to just behind the moon, the moon's gravity will grab the spacecraft and slingshot it out into a wider orbit. If done right, you can get escape velocity without having to use as much fuel. This kind of method can become very useful later in the game when there will be tasks to explore other planets. Here's the gameplay. So we'll set the moon as the target and start a manoeuvre node. I can move this if needed. I'm not going to, I seem to have managed to catch that pretty well. And how much delta B is that using? 848, 149, and periaps B 400 ish kilometers. Just extend that up a bit until I don't get a return vector on the right there. There it goes, disappears. And that means that I now have a Kerbin escape in 15 days and a periaps of about 73 kilometers. And that'll put me just out ahead of Kerbin, which is a good place to be. So this maneuver here is going to use most of the delta V that I have left in the vessel. However, if I was to actually try and burn straight out without using a, an assist, it would take me probably... Uh, I can't quite remember the figure, but I think it's over a thousand meters a second of delta V so it probably have taken most of the fuel that was left in the ship um, and left me with no return so coming up on the cutoff point now just slow it down get it as close as I can 0 0.5 oops there we go and there's the moon <laughs> so that's what that looks like now. Without doing anything else, the ship will go out, it'll pass by the moon within 53 kilometers and sling us out into orbit of the sun in a very similar orbit to Kerbin that, that Kerbin is going around the sun. So moon encounters in four hours. I will add yeah, four hours. Add an alarm for a minute before that happens and just warp time don't need the surface data anymore and I can watch Kerbin disappear really gets pretty when it's like this they've nailed the look definitely All right, delete that. So I'll switch to the map view. This this looks a little bit weird. The the trajectory. There we go. That lets you see. Now that I'm actually in the moon's sphere of influence, you can actually see how I'll get slung shot around there. And the moon's still moving, so 
that's the reason for the weird look in the in the overall arc. Basically, you go around the back of there, come out the other side, and have a couple of hundred meters extra of delta B. I'm just seeing. You see, it would be possible if you wanted to. I know that the vector of that's a little bit off, but it won't matter too much for the return journey. But you could correct it for 139 meters a second of delta V. But I don't want to use anything that's unnecessary. It kind of defeats the point of doing it this way. And I do have an extra experiment on here to conduct when I'm in range of the moon. So you'll see the camera change here as we get close there. So while I'm in orbit over the moon, I'm going to do one of these mystery goos. It's worth 30. And keep that in mind, and you'll see why I'm doing this, uh, this orbit out to the sun for some easy science. So and slingshot out, and it's 11 days until I reach the Kerbin escape. Yeah. Oh, that's nice, the sun between Kerbin and the moon. <laughs> Wee. All right. There's the notification. So I'm about to enter the sun's sphere of influence and leave Kerbin's. Just make sure that the craft is pointed on that trajectory back to Kerbin. It's projecting that as a as a curve, but that's actually not what's going to happen because there can't be an apoapse that high. In a minute or so here, it will change. There we go. And so now I am technically in orbit of the sun, although I'm just outside of Kerbin. So do the other mystery goo. And that's worth 110 science points. See? In orbit of the sun, 110. So that's why it's worth so much more. So I'm going to do a crew report. Even the crew report is worth about 50 there. And just going a little EVA and take an EVA report. And it seems to be Jebediah. Must not have changed him out. <laughs> Normally change Jebediah out and try and keep him safe. So the mission just became more important. <laughs> oh. This is why you want to turn the ships upright. There shouldn't be an up in space, but there seems to be one in Kerbin. There we go. Get back on. Not try that again. So we'll do the Science Junior experiment. It's worth 275. So that is a fair old bit of science. So I'm just dipping my toe in the water here and I'm going to nip back now towards Kerbin. Just run slowly for a minute. So So I'm going to use well over a couple of hundred meters of delta V here. I'm mainly keeping an eye on my screen on the right. Okay, so that's down to, and there we go, got a Kerbin encounter. So basically I'm slowing down and Kerbin is now moving faster than me and I, it'll grab me back. Right, so I've got 160-ish left, which translates it's about nine litres of fuel left, so not much at all. So I'm just going to burn very gently 
retrograde. Bring that periapse down. I'm going to try and get it under the layer of the atmosphere. 44 knots, not enough. I'm just going to go for a bit of safety margin. 5,000. So that, the atmosphere will definitely slow me down at that. You can see the moon spinning around carbon that fall towards it. Won't get to pick my landing spot, but I'll take whatever I get. And there's the moon, appropriate for the landing. Main ship's been deployed, so I'll just time warp down to the ground. Here we go. Down. Alright, recover vessel. So, how much? 620 science. That's very, very handy for a relatively cheap mission. Got some money back for the parts. Managed to return. Take that. And the crew, Jebediah, thank goodness. Don't normally like to take him on missions. Quick look at the contracts. There's part of the, the moon is now achieved. It was transmit or recover data from space around the moon. So although I didn't orbit it, I grabbed the mystery goo. So that was worth a little bit extra as well. So with 620 science, uh, these are 90 science each. So that's under 300 and those are 45. Basically, I can unlock every single node here if I want to. So I'll figure out what to unlock. Just clear off my contracts and see you next time. Get up on top of here. I see you. I haven't killed you yet. Come and play. I'm just gonna try and 